Hello and welcome once again all to the madness that is my brain. We're printing stuff. Got the main hubs for the two fans done. Waiting for the other PETG to get here. Then I gotta clear this table off again. We are gonna keep this rig in place though because this is, this is good for testing those fans that I'm gonna be doing different blade variations on. So we gotta keep that handy. Look, this is cool. I'm gonna do something with that. Not sure what, but we're gonna get back to work. We still gotta get Sally finished. She's got 190 in her, 190 millimeter, I should clarify. And um, I'm just wait. I gotta get a good ESC for this so I can put it up through the body and into the battery cavity here. I didn't cat a lot of battery room in there. Um, this was just more or less, hey, I'm playing with solid body modeling. So that's how that ended up coming into existence. But we're going to move this. I'm going to get the two buckets back up here because we're going to be building the last two motors in tandem. So that's what's going to happen. As you can see, it takes a lot of different plates to get this thing printed. Each one of these sections, each one of the stator pieces, each one of the, the hubs, the blades, all printed separately. Mainly friction fit on the blades. These things spin with no glue holding them in. It's because I wanted to actually use a CNC to make them. <laughs> Can't get one yet. <laughs> I'm thinking that make, make here a Carvera Air thing would be perfect for this. Because the blade root to tip, I think, would fit perfectly within their um, fourth axis setup. And then I could get some stock cut for it and then chuck it in there and see if I can't get this milled out of 7075. And then I could make the hub lighter, too, by hollowing it out and doing it out of 7075. And the main shaft, as well, for rigidity. And every, every other damn part of the thing. Except for the casing, of course, we'll just keep that plastic. <laughs> we just want some more rigidity in that. I'm going to have to do an aluminum stator hub, too. Good Lord, this is going to get uh, more involved. But, of course, we want to fly this one first, so that's what's going to happen. So I'm getting myself set up now. Hey, bud, what's up? And we're going to start getting these next two fans assembled. And then attaching their body parts. And then we'll be ready to fit all of this together as one drone. Can't wait for that day.